So if you get this error where it says could not save changes because the target table has database triggers, then don't worry because I will show you why you get it and how you fix it. And what is happening is that Entity Framework can see that you have some triggers in your database. And even if you don't see them yourself or that you haven't created them, then maybe some of your code is actually creating these triggers when you run the application. Right now for me in this project, I have a newly created database. So I know that I have no triggers, but because I use a library called SQL Table Dependency, then they actually might add some triggers to my database at runtime. And that's also why this error can be a little bit confusing. But if you're not used to see this error, then it might because you are going from a .NET 6 or less version to .NET 7. And that's because in .NET 7, Entity Framework do not allow these triggers because in .NET 7, they have a new technique on how they fetch data from the database. And after some considerations, Microsoft said that with all the new good thing that is happening in .NET 7 with Entity Framework and the new technique that they're going to use, that that will be much better. And these techniques will improve Entity Framework so much that this error is just being accepted by Microsoft. So what you can do if you encounter this error is to actually roll back to use the older technique. So it will make your Entity Framework run a little bit slower than intentional in .NET 7 if you do this. But to tell that Entity Framework should use the old technique instead of the technique, you will have to go to your context file. So like in my case, in my file explorer, I have the data folder where I have my company database 2 context file. And as you can see here, I just outcome in this line of code. And that was just to show you the error because inside our on model creating, we need to tell Entity Framework that it should use the old technique on the employees table. In this case, I have an employee model. So if I just uncomment this and let's just walk through the line here, we can say that on our builder, we want to target the entity employee so that we target our employees table. And then we want to go and say to table and then say that this table has triggers. And if you read Microsoft documentation, then this name inside here, it doesn't really matter what it is right here. I just call it trigger name, but you can call it whatever you want. And when you do that, it will on the employees table, go and roll back to use the old technique. So the conclusion must be that if you want to use the .NET 7 feature as much as possible, then you might not want to use some triggers in your database and also want to avoid libraries that create triggers in your database because then your database request with Entity Framework will run a lot faster. But I think that's it for this video. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel and else I'll see you in the next video.